this fast at hand, 24 hours to go to get over. I know when he's the term devastation, but I mean in terms of philosophy, you talk about getting up to this uh, tonight. Well, it was without a doubt, it was a tough loss. It was a um, any chance you have the lead the way we had, and it slowly slips out of your grasp at such a crucial time of the year. It's a tough pill for those guys to swallow in that room. I've talked about the character and leadership that we have on this team. Uh, it's a group of young men that there's never been any quit. You know, obviously they're disappointed right now. They realize the opportunity to let slip out of their hands. Um, but we'll come in tomorrow and we'll have a chance to, to get our focus where it needs to be. And right now it needs to be focusing on one game and to even break it down more than that. More than that, it needs to be focusing on one game. Well, without a doubt, when you when you have a chance on your home ice to to get yourself back in the series to draw even um, two on each side, it's one of those games that that we face some adversity during the season where we've let wins slip out of our hands like that. So we'll have an opportunity to reflect back on that, but. Time will tell. Time will tell. Here is the, is the obvious statement whether that is a defining game in this series. Jack, you said last week there was a lot of in playing on the bench. A lot of the guys were chirping with each other up there and uh, back back in the clubhouse. So, what was that like tonight out there? What was the scene? Well, Calder Cup Finals, real intense. It's real intense hockey out there. It's intense on the bench. It's it's really guys are dialed in in the dressing room. So. Nothing's changed there for us. That's been the same way we've been all regular season, and it just ramps itself up a little bit more, even so in the playoffs. So, um, same type of mentality we've had all season long here in the playoffs. We realize what's on the line here. We realize the importance, uh, and the players are engaged and dialed in on, uh, on what needs to take place here next game. How much, how much of four days off was it all like short days? It's not existent. It was. Uh, Texas had the same days off. We had the same. We had a chance to rest. I'm sure they had a chance to, to heal some of their wounds that everybody has this time of year. So um, yeah, it, it was a non-factor. I enjoyed our start. I thought obviously our start was really good. Uh, we had good energy. I thought their goaltender made some big saves. Um, you know, it was the momentum they built. Uh, they built there at the end of the second, the, uh, the first goal by Moran. And from there, you could all of a sudden feel a little bit more on our heels. Uh, and as much as we know as a team to not sit back, you have to give some credit to the Texas Stars. Uh, they're a real fast team. They don't give you a lot of room to make plays out there, and I thought that was evident as you pushed through into that third period. What were you doing to figure out what happened? I mean, you just not enough time to focus on the next We're always adjusting during the game. We're, we're making adjustments in between periods. Um, you know, as you assess that game, we had a three nothing lead. Obviously, would a one nothing lead been a little bit better? It might have been. But we, I thought, we changed our style of play a little bit and opened it up. And you can't open it up against that team. We we tried to all of a sudden cheat on the wrong side of the puck. Uh, you know, push our forwards down in areas they don't need to be and give some momentum off the rush. So uh, we got away from. What has given us success, and what gave us success in that first period, and probably the first, probably the first 30 minutes. I thought, uh, you know, obviously the front half of the second period was was strong also. But, uh, we started getting away from what uh, gave us success in the first half. Keith, did you feel your team was a little tighter in the latter half and third period, too close, uh, <coughs> close to a goal being scored was way off? Yeah, I would disagree there. I thought we were a little tight. I thought we, uh, I thought, you know. When we let that, you know, we let them get back into the game. We started to get a little bit, um, a little bit out of structure, not executing our plays. We, we felt, you know, we're a young team. We, you know, there's, there's, when you're in the finals like that and you're facing pressure coming at you, it's, uh, you know, when you feel the momentum start to shift, it's, it's, it's a challenge to get it back again. So uh, we played tighter than obviously than the coaching staff would have liked us. Thank you.